Good afternoon. Hope you'll get a chance to recharge a little. It's lunchtime here on the East Coast. Welcome to our 10-minute Change the Mood daily streams. We have a distinguished guest here for you in our virtual broadcast studio. Please welcome Grammy Award-winning conductor John McClellan Williams. I can't help it clapping every time I see you, John. This yes, my mother does the same, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm much. joining the ranks of your mother. <laughs> yeah. John, thank you so much for joining. It's such an honor to have you today. You are the host of a spectacular music event, which will be broadcast uh, on August 1 at 2 p.m. And I know you prepared to share some very exciting surprises with us today. I really can't wait to hear it. And John, thank you so much for joining us in the last minute notice on your birth on the birthday of your daughter. She is 16 today. Happy well, birthday you. to your daughter. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll Welcome. pass it on to her. <laughs> I appreciate please, it. Please, please do. <laughs> and thank do. you so much. Oh, it's great to be here. I'm thrilled to be a part of this whole thing. Music to meeting. Okay, I want, I, I'm really, really proud and excited to be a part of this new presentation, this new effort to bridge the worlds between music and business. Uh, music to meeting is going to be a way to bring live performances and team building efforts and activities by world class musicians. And the whole point of these 10 minute breaks across the week here is to give you just a little taste of what's to come on the introductory concert that's going to happen on August 1st. So, and today, one of our world class artists is joining us. It is Mark Smullian. Mark Smullian is a world famous bassist and producer. He's a, he's a humanitarian. He's the founder of the Mind Harp Initiative, which uh, once again engages team building efforts among non musicians. And it is a fascinating uh, endeavor, which we're going to talk about a little bit here. Let's please welcome Mark Smullian. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me here today. Lovely to see you, John. You too. It's a great, great pleasure. So uh, I, I know it's difficult to talk about oneself, but uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing uh, lately. I know these past couple of months have, have uh, introduced new activities for all of us, sometimes limited and sometimes uh, imaginative. So tell us a bit. Well, it's given me an opportunity due to the virtual world to, to focus on doing a lot of workshops about the app you talked about, the Mind Harp. The Mind Harp is an app that allows anybody to engage in music. And the reason we created it, myself and my business partner, is very simple. We, I believe very strongly that the skills used by specifically improvising musicians, high quality, high performance level improvis improvising musicians, who I consider the finest teams in the world, they are emotional skills, and these skills can be transferred to non-emotional situations, so business teams. We can learn what the skills are. But the big issue is that to, to, to understand this, you kind of need to be able to play a bit of music. And a lot of these guys can't play music, these men and women. So I said, let's create a way for these people to play music without having to go through all the angst of learning how to play an instrument so that they can understand what goes on in our feel what goes on in our brain and in our bodies when we make music and 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 we bounce off of that so so that's kind of i've been doing a lot of that in the last three months due to the lockdown and a lot of music of course of course well that is actually very very fascinating so the mind harp act app allows uh, people with no musical skills or no prior experience with uh, direct music making themselves to actually produce something musical and it is it, it's collaborative is that correct it's collaborative mm -hmm. you can do it by yourself the the sounds are organized you can't make a mistake they're organized so they all kind of harmonize which is a very loose word here it's not like writing you can't a make a mistake note. i like that <laughs> yeah you can't make a mistake you know musicians are always terrified of mistakes even oh, though yes <laughs> whenever i've said i've made mistakes people look at me and say i didn't hear any mistake but different lesson different time different story um but yeah you can have a couple of the apps open and different people can be working together so they can be guided on how to listen to each other, respect one another, give space to one another, all the things that as musicians we need to do in order to let the music lead and, 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 and give all of us, both the performers and the receivers, the joy that music gives us. That's fascinating. So uh, with this in mind, tell me, what made you decide that you wanted to be a part of uh, Music to Meeting? 
Well, I was, I've known Lena, who founded this together with her partner for many years now. And um, we've often talked about collaborating. And when this opportunity came along as an outcome of the, the need for virtual uh, um, substitutes in the new world we're in and going into the future, regardless of COVID, I think we'll see more and more of this. She knew about me and the work I do with teams and the fact that I do music and I'm a professional musician. And she was really, you know, excited or we were both excited that I could join the team and bring my skills to music to meeting, which is such a unique and special endeavor as it allows us finally to come into people's workspaces without all having to travel across the world to one another and bring our skills into a, into a central place, which is great for the trees. <laughs> which is great for us and and i think a positive way of looking into the future and allows more importantly allows people who maybe couldn't work together to do so for example i'm meeting you now i'm in bristol you know you're in michigan we could do a workshop together and and the more we develop these kind of ideas the better and more fluid and the more professional and and we will become and indeed i like the sound of that <laughs> yeah so I, I that's what it's about well, uh, of course, uh, when you get right down to it, the music is the thing. Uh, are you going to play something for us today? Very short. It's a little, it's like a little ditty to open the show and mm -hmm. close the show with. So here we go. I'll do the first part now and maybe at the end I'll do a, a second part. But it's okay. short, sweet and simple. Here we go. I can't even remember. It has a name, I believe. It was a long time ago. Again. <laughs> That was lovely. Short and well, sweet. I, I wish you'd played that for me before. I would have uh, brought my violin. We could have worked out something together there. We okay. we just had a long talk off screen about uh, improvising musicians, and uh, it is a, a fascinating topic. But that's that's beautiful. I guess you'll remember the name and tell us what that's called uh, sometime in the future. Yeah, I need to look. I, I must look, uh, <laughs> see what it was, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it in a minute. Well, this is actually a good time to to focus once more on music to meeting. The idea is uh, is bringing people together and uh, in focus upon team building by inter having uh, intimate interactions with a great artist. Of course, Mark is one. You're going to hear nine others on August first, and it's quite a lineup. So trust me. Uh, and uh, one of the most interesting things about it, because it's virtual, these artists will be coming to you directly from their own beautiful homes all around the world. Uh, this is available to uh, companies uh, and, uh, and there can be an unlimited number of participants in uh, a company session and it's available across uh, all time zones. So uh, if uh, I, when you have a moment, I would encourage everyone to please check out the Facebook page, which is uh, of course, www.facebook.com uh, slash music to meeting. Of course, and it's spelled the word music the numeral two and the word meeting. Okay, so uh, tell me, Mark, uh, what's next? What's next for music to meeting? Oh, in the world in general. Well, actually, we could talk about both of those things because I think, as far as we're concerned, those two things are going to intersect and in very soon. Absolutely, I think. I think what's really exciting is that music to meeting here offers two clear and very powerful paths. One is the team building and learning through what musicians do, how one can improve one's team and behavior within businesses and take on board skills that are, which are innate. Many people don't know that we are all musical, even if one is not talented at making music, we are all musical. And by engaging with music, we promote certain behavior, social skills that promote our working together and increase our power as teams. So when you understand how musicians work, then you actually are taking on tools that will help you work better. 
And then there's the other wonderful side, which is the performance side that, that Music to Meeting offers, which is that at the end of a, a, um, a session a company's having with their staff, they can have a, a really high quality musical break, or they can invite certain musicians with a certain genre that they want in order to, to change up their mood or give them some relaxing moments if they've been having a difficult long weekend, maybe what used mm -hmm. to be away weekends, you know, which now we'll be doing online. And uh, um, so this two, this double-sided approach that music to meeting brings is the power to music to soothe and calm and bring us joy. If music be the food of love, let's play on. Mm -hmm. And also the, the deep and uh, untapped side that many people know, know that music offers to those who want to understand how they can better run the teams they're working with in a more holistic manner, tuning in to the world we're into. Because looking into the future, to answer your question, we have to learn to be more aware and awake and in touch with our natural world. And by doing that, we're actually going to improve the quality of our lives and the quality of the work we deliver. So I'm excited about that. Well, I, I am too. And you, you're absolutely right. Being in touch with our outer world, it's so easy to nowadays to seal ourselves off from it. Uh, we, it's, it's, we're all quite capable of being uh, almost completely hermetic should we choose to, to do so. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the team building aspect is something very fascinating. And of course, we'll touch upon that much more uh, in upcoming episodes. Uh, but we're running out of time. And in the meantime, um, I thought perhaps you'd play a little bit more to uh, carry us uh, for an outro. Okay, so I'm going to do the outro part of this little tune. Um, I, don't, I can't believe I can't remember the name. It's one of my favorite pieces. Maybe I'm blanked out here. I, I will. Yeah, spinal Tap what, comes to mind here. Spinal Tap definitely <laughs> comes to mind here. Here we go. So. <laughs> That was really lovely, really. Well, thank you. And I <laughs> thank you for the first few notes. There you go. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you, Mark, so much for joining us and, and sharing your, your considerable gifts with everyone. We'll look forward to seeing you on, on the first with everyone else. And uh, I hope uh, all of you out there have enjoyed this little taste of uh, what's to come. And there's going to be more. So till next time, I'm John McLaughlin Williams. Thank you so much. Lovely to have been here. Looking forward to seeing you on the first. Appreciate it. All right, Mark. We'll be in touch. Take care. Take care. You too. Bye-bye.